Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Snapdragon, and in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the sweets box for your pets in Fantasy Star Online 2. Pets are associated with the Summoner's class, and interestingly, they do not inherently level as your character does. Thus, in order to buff up your pets, you have to feed them your surplus of eggs in order to level them up, and you use what's called the sweets box. The sweets box is an interesting mechanic for the game. I essentially view it as a mini game because you're trying to fit candies and other sweets efficiently into an enclosed space. These sweets are incredibly important because they can act as status boosters or even change your pet's element. If you're unfamiliar with what your pet's element may be, you can always look at the pet details and it'll show you the element down by your pet's rarity. My pet Oliver here, its element is dark. Right now, we're actually looking at the sweets box that I've been filling up for my pet named Oliver. And you can see here that I have fit several sandwiches, cookies, jelly beans, and even candy canes into my sweet box. But I'm sort of impeded by various jelly and caramel blocks. You can actually remove these to make more room, and I'll show you in a bit how you would do that. In this video, I'm gonna work on the sweets box for one of my other pets named Ghost and I'm gonna walk you through what you're gonna wanna do for your pets. Let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing that I wanna show you is how to see what treats that you may have in your inventory at a single point in time. All you do is go to item and you wanna scroll over to where all your sub palette items are located. This is for instance where you'd find your monomate which heals you can use it as a curative medicine to restore your HP. So here you can see some of your sub palette items, but if you scroll all the way down, you will also find that this is where your eggs are stored. And if you scroll even further, here is where you'll find all of the treats that you have available to place in your pet's sweet box. Again, these sweets act as status boosters, for instance, if you played Pokemon, you're gonna be familiar with how status boosters work. The Mike Cookie here, for instance, grants your pet plus 35 to melee. The single stack pancake adds a plus 10 boost to their element level. I also have various candy canes that can boost your pet's resistances, like the Impact War Cane has a 5% boost to melee resistance for your pet. The Projectile Ward Cane is a 5% boost to ranged, and then the Technique Ward Cane is a 5% boost technique resistance. Here, I do want to point out that you want to be familiar with what your pet's combat role is. You're going to have some pets that are more ranged, and then you're going to have others that are more melee damage. So when you are thinking about what sweets you want to put in your pet's sweet box, make sure you know what their combat role is. I also have a toughness sandwich. This is a plus 100 to your melee defense and a genius sandwich, which is plus 100 to your technique defense. Let's say you don't have that many and maybe you wanna buy more. You're gonna have to come find the pet lab technician here in the shopping plaza. If you come off the elevator, here's the elevator right here. You're just gonna come over, you're just gonna go left and here she is. You wanna go down to Pet Supply Shop. Here, you're not gonna be able to use regular currency. You actually have to exchange items in order to obtain these. So if we look at the XP egg, here I have to exchange a grinder in order to receive the desired item. We can go ahead and we can buy an XP egg. And if you're unfamiliar with how this works, you would use this to level up your pet. You can watch my quick guide to summoners pets video in order to see how to do that. It's incredibly straightforward, really simple. So please watch that video if you have any questions on how to level your pet using XP eggs or just your surplus of eggs in general that may be in your inventory. Here are the various sweets that she carries, and like the EXP egg, you have to exchange items for the item that you want to obtain. So if we wanted this crisis roll, for instance, it has a rare chance of recovering HP when the pet takes damage while its HP is low. We'd go to crisis roll, and it wants me to exchange two photon spheres in order to obtain the crisis roll. 
You also have the Mastery Cane. This is a yummy sweet for pets. Place it in your sweets box to increase all stats for your pet by five. Here, I have to exchange 50 grinder in order to receive the Mastery Cane. We can go ahead and do that. Let me go all the way up to 50 here. There it is. Okay, let's exchange that. We just got a Mastery Cane. You can also get a Stamina Gummy. This grants your pets plus 10 to HP. It's just Grinder again. Down here, we have ways to remove various impediments in your sweets box to make more space. We have the sweets dissolver, which destroys one sweet set in the selected pet sweet box. That sweet cannot be recovered, however. And if you want to remove the various caramel cubes, you're going to have to get a caramel crusher. Unfortunately, I can't purchase one right now because I don't have any X cubes to exchange for them. But that is how you'd get rid of the caramel blocks that are taking up space in your box. And then we also have various pancakes here. A yummy sweet for your pets. It grants a plus 20 boost to their element level. Triple stat pancake is a plus 30 boost to the element level. You also have fire candy. This is what you'd want to get if you wanted to change your pet's element. So a fire candy would change the element to fire. An ice candy would change the element to ice, so on and so forth. Here, I do want to point out that if you are appraising a special egg, you get to choose your pet's element when you're appraising a special egg. If you are just hatching an egg that you found while out in your adventure, the element's going to be set. So if you want to change the element, this is how you would do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at the sweets box for my pet ghost. I haven't filled it in yet, and as you can see, it's not incredibly spacious. I want to point out that down at the bottom, it tells you how many of each type of sweet that you can have in the sweet box. So you can only have five ice cream sandwiches in your sweet box. You can only have 20 gummies, two parfaits, two rolls, etc. If we look at Oliver's sweet box here, you can see that it counts the number of each that you already have placed in the box. So I have three sandwiches already there. I can place another two. So here we have Ghost, and I'm going to click on Ghost and go to Sweets Box. And then I'm going to say that I want to edit it. Ghost is a melee combat type of pet, so I'm not going to put any type of ranged combat damage. I don't think I have anything pertaining to that. But again, you do want to think about what your pet's role might be. So I'm going to put the mastery cane in here where I can. I'm going to see first if I can compress it. So let's say that you have a really big suite and you want to sort of make it a little more efficient for placing in your box. To do that, we can make it smaller and therefore you can fit more, right? So we're going to go to the pet lab technician and we're going to go to compress suite. And we're just going to compress them from my inventory, but you can also compress them from the sweet box itself. You can't compress all of the different various items, but as you can see here, I can compress a mite cookie and I can compress a stack pancake. Let's go ahead and see about compressing this cookie, shall we? So there is a chance at failure when you do this. Notice how it sets my success rate here. It says my previous success rate was certain. Let's hope it doesn't fail this time. Ooh, okay, it was successful, so we're good. So we just made that my cookie a lot smaller so that it would more efficiently fit in our sweets box. We can do the same with the pancake. Here, my previous success rate was a safe bet. I don't have any success boosters, but if you did, you could use them. Let's go back to our sweets box for ghost here and see about adding some of the stuff. So now I have a mite cookie. Here it is. And I can probably compress that down much further. We can see about that before I put it in because that's really large, right? And it takes up a lot of space. Here's a stack of pancakes, takes up a lot of space too. We might be able to make that even smaller. Here we have the mastery cane. I do wanna place this, but I unfortunately cannot make this any smaller. So this is the size that it's gonna be. 
and it's going to increase all my stats for the pet by five so we're going to place it there you do want to place them obviously strategically so that they all fit i have a toughness sandwich i do want to give my pet some melee defense because she's going to be all up in their face so I'm gonna put the sandwich maybe down here. And you'll notice now that it's counting what I've already put in my sweets box to the total amount that I can have of different candies and ice cream sandwiches. Let's go ahead and place the one stamina gummy that I have, I'm gonna place it down there. I can also place, let's see. So right now her Technique defense isn't that high. Let's say I wanted to make it a little higher. We can place this sandwich. I'm gonna place this one in this corner here. That's gonna grant my pet a plus 100 to technique defense, which could be useful. And let's see if we can just make sure you confirm it or you're gonna lose everything. Okay. Let's see if we can compress the size of those sweets at least one more time. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna compress it into a two by two. I have a safe bet success rate. Let's see if this works. Unfortunately, no success boosters, but again, if you had any, maybe use them unless you're certain that you're gonna be okay. And it was successful. We can, it appears we are able to compress it one more time. And it worked. So now we fully compressed the cookies so that they can efficiently fit in the sweet box. Let's do the same with my pancakes. And that was successful. I do want to show you real quick that you can compress the sweets directly from the sweet box. If I wanted to compress Oliver's spirit cookie, I can do it straight from the box because I already placed it in there. And now I made it even smaller. So I've made even more room in my sweet box. Let's go back to Ghost Sweet Box here. We're gonna edit them. And we're gonna place the Mite Cookie. And I think I might place it right there. We also have the stack of pancakes. It's rather large, but I think it's gonna be okay if I just fit it right there. And then I have one more Stamina Gummy. I'm gonna place it right here. So it's like you're fitting a puzzle. So you can also move the sweets around in the future. Let's say if you made more space by getting rid of some of the caramels and you just wanted to shift things around, do that by going to move and dissolve. And so if I wanted to move this gummy, I can do that. Now I can move it right there. Then if I wanted to, technically I could add another, maybe another cane to this. There's one that's horizontal. But that is essentially how you work with the sweets box in Fantasy Star Online 2. It's incredibly easy. I think it's rather cute. And again, it's a way to beef up your pet because your pet is not just going to inherently become boosted as you level. You have to manually level and upgrade your pet. So here are a few other things. If you had a caramel crusher, this is how you'd crush the caramels, but I unfortunately do not have one. This is how you dissolve all the sweets. Don't do that, it can't be undone. So just watch out for that. And that is essentially how you build your sweets box. So I think it's kind of a cute little mechanic to the game, but that is it, that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I do hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.